so students we can just go through the important points of uh, our uh, first two chapters physical world units dimensions and errors the first chapter um, you must think about one important point the fundamental forces in nature so the gravitational force weak nuclear force electromagnetic force and strong nuclear force and keep in mind among them the strong nuclear force that is in between the nucleons a short range one and this is said to be for the maximum uh, force of interaction if you compared with other forces and keep in mind the gravitational force that is the weakest force in nature and uh, it's a long range force keep in mind while solving problems keep in mind some important conversions the first very important concept regarding the conversion of angles and keep in mind 1 degree is 60 minutes or equal to 3600 seconds that means 1 degree is equally divided into 60 minutes and each minute is again divided into 60 seconds while converting from radian into degree we know as 360 degrees equal to 2 pi radian as one radian take the value as 57.3 degree while converting keep in mind one degree takes the value 1.745 into 10 raised to minus 2 radian one minute as 2.91 into 10 raised to minus 4 radian one second is equal to 4.84 into 10 raised to minus 6 radian problems solve in a samayath ee or concept nu orthirikade so simple some uh, conversions one foot we know it is a 0.3048 meter one inch as a 2.54 cm one parsec it is said to be the largest measure in unit of distance with 3.08 into 10 raised to 16 meter one light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 raised to 15 meter one astronomical unit as 1.496 into 10 raised to 11 meter if you just go through the some units of area one r as a 10 square meter square one hectare you know hecto the hecto means 10 square so hectare means 10 raised to 4 meter square and one barn a very important unit to measure the nuclear areas as a 10 raised to minus 28 meter square while converting speed keep in mind 1 km per hour can be simply converted into meter per second by just to multiplying 5 by 18 1 mile per hour take the value as 0.45 meter per second a very important concept the acceleration we know it is 9.8 meter per second square but keep in mind it is equal to 980 cm per second square and is equal to 32 ft per second square with respect to mass the 1 amu the si unit is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg the very important force units 1 kg force 1 gram force one newton in terms of dime one joule you know the ten rise to seven erg one electron volt take the value as 1.6 into 10 rise to minus 19 joule one kilowatt hour the commercial unit of energy 3.6 into 10 rise to 6 joule pressure the one atmosphere pressure take the value 1.013 into 10 rise to 5 pascal but keep in mind it is equal to 76 cm of mercury 760 mm of mercury one bar 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square or pascal one tor 1 mm of mercury so just considering the electric charge 
we are expressing the cjs unit in terms of electric static unit and electromagnetic unit and we can link as one coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 9 static coulomb or equal to 1 by 10 of electromagnetic unit while considering examination keep in mind the units of magnetic field the magnetic flux the magnetizing field the magnetic field unit is a tesla it's a cgs unit is gauss magnetic flux weber it's cgs unit is maxwell the magnetizing field the si unit is ampere per meter it's a cgs unit is oster and one oster take the value as 80 ampere per meter so these are the very important points regarding the conversions If you just go through the dimensions of important physical quantities, important examination based uh, important uh, physical quantities, I am just going through the relevant terms only, the relative density, keep in mind the specific gravity, there is another name, it is a dimensionless one. The mechanical equivalent of heat may be a very important term. It is applicable while considering the uh, conversion or the link between the mechanical work and the heat production while solving in CG system. That is very important. The mechanical equivalent of heat, the dimensionless one, the number one term, the gravitational constant, compressibility, the reciprocal of bulk modulus, gas constant. Please, the relevant term R is equal to PV by mu T should be in your mind. Boltzmann constant, the Van der Waals constants, the time constants, L by R and RC, L, the intactance, C, the capacitance, the very important terms, keep in mind. The power of a lens, the reciprocal of focal length and hence L raised to minus 1. The another very important coefficient of viscosity m l raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 1 and based on our second year topics the resistance potential capacitance intactance it should be in your mind and other some factors keep in mind the thermal conductivity stefan's constant magnetic field so some very important terms but if you just to go through the dimensional analysis if you just cover last four years of neat examination, you should know one can shape. And based on these factors, actually all the questions are coming. Especially the second question, it is very important. So I just read the question and I will give the relevant concept only. The position x of a particle at a time t is given by x is equal to v0 by a into 1 minus e raised to minus a t where v0 is a constant and a is greater than 0. The dimensions of v0 and a are. Keep in mind two important concepts while solving these type of problems. One, we can add or subtract only same type of parameters or both of them got the same dimensions and the second point keep in mind the exponential terms the logarithmic terms trigonometric terms they are dimensionless so that is a very important concept so while using that concept you can uh, uh, solve that problem if you have any difficulty uh, you can contact me and uh, I will give the answer. See the next question. If n's modulus, surface tension, time are the fundamental quantities of physics, then find the dimensional formula for density. How we can get the answer? Maybe the very important concept. We are not familiar with uh, uh, by, by connecting these uh, four uh, relations. Uh, concepts so at that time you can use the very simple concept you can derive the equation for density in terms of y 
S and T. While writing like this one, the density D is proportional to Y raised to A, S raised to B and T raised to C. Then you get the answer. The very important another concept based on our IIT or J main entrance. Find the value of 10 joule on a system having 100 gram, 10 centimeter and 30 seconds as a fundamental units. You can simply use the concept. N2 is equal to N1 into M1 by M2 the whole raised to A, L1 by L2 the whole raised to B, T1 by T2 the whole raised to C. While using that concept, you get the answer. So do the such questions are very, very important. The significant figures, keep in mind, the another very important concept. So some examples are there. And keep in mind the second one. And here the zeros in between the decimal point and the non-zero digits are never significant. Provided with one condition, the integral part should be zero. But if it is not zero, that is the next example. 1.080 got four significant figures. And keep in mind, 100 kilogram got three, but 100, a mere number, got only one significant figures. The two important points regarding significant figures are uh, uh, there. While solving problems, keep in mind the two important points. One, while solving the addition or subtraction, keep in mind the answer should be retained with the minimum number of decimal, decimal places. But in multiplication or division, the answer should be retained with the minimum significant figures. That is a very important concept. So, the next topic, the very important for the engineering aspirants here is, especially for J main aspirants, the last neat entrance examination, the one question is asking from the least count of vernier caliper, and hence the very important case, you must go through the terms, what do you mean by precision, accuracy, what are the different types of errors, we can classify them into systematic and random errors, and keep in mind some special terms, the true value, the mean absolute error, the relative error, the percentage error. And keep in mind, it is for random errors. It is to represent the random errors. How we can find the true value? By just taking the mean, the average. For what purpose we are taking the average? Maybe the one important question also. And keep in mind that sentence. If the number of observation is made n times, then the random errors are reduced to 1 by n times. So that's the reason why we are taking the average. If you take the average, the errors are distributed among others. So that is a very important point. So you can easily know what you mean by the true value, the mean absolute error, the relative error, the percentage error, you know. But the next point, it should be important, keep in mind how we can represent the errors. In terms of absolute error, so the representation is A bar plus or minus delta A bar uni. In terms of fractional error, the example is simple, 0.25 meter plus or minus 0.2. So there is no unit with the 0.2 and hence we can sense it is the fractional error. That means delta A bar by A bar. But in the next case, it is a 20 percentage. The percentage symbol is there and hence we can sense it is the percentage error. So while solving the problems the, uh, with the combination of errors, so keep in mind the very important two relevant concepts. The first one, in addition or subtraction, each absolute errors are added together. And hence x is equal to a plus b and hence delta x is equal to delta a plus delta b. But the, in the question, in the adi, uh, if the function is addition or subtraction, but we want to find what is the fractional error, the equation becomes like this one. Keep in mind the very important concept.
in multiplication or division so keep in mind each fractional errors are added so while addition or subtraction keep in mind each absolute errors are added in multiplication or division each fractional errors are added so i am with the uh, three important different types questions i will explain you can find the answers to the initial and the final temperatures of water are recorded by an observer are 40.6 plus or minus 0.2 degrees celsius 78.3 plus or minus 0.3 degrees celsius calculate the rise in temperature so we have to find what is the difference in temperature so the two values are subtracted but we know it is a subtraction process and hence the absolute errors are added together so that is the answer and hence the absolute errors are added together in the sense of 0.2 plus 0.3 equal to 0.5 so keep in mind next question the length and breadth of a rectangle are 5.7 plus or minus 0.1 cm and 3.4 plus or minus 0.2 cm calculate the area of the rectangle with the error limits you can just write an answer as a is equal to l into b and hence it is a multiplication of uh, uh, two physical quantities so the fractional errors are added and from that you can find the uh, abs uh, mean absolute error of area a very important question the next one a physical quantity p is given by p is equal to a square c into root d by b cube the percentage error in the measurement of a b c d are given so what is the percentage error in p you know here the functions are just multiplying and division and hence the error in p the percentage error in p is equal to 2 into the percentage error of a plus the percentage error of c plus half into the percentage error of d plus 3 into the percentage of error of b so you get the answer so these are the very important type questions regarding errors so you must go through the two important uh, um, error measuring or measuring equipment screw gauge and vernier you must go through how we can find its least count so in a screw case the least count or the minimum measurement can be simply find out equal to pitch by the number of divisions on the circular scale but what do you mean by pitch it is nothing but the distance moved by the number of rotations so please go through the question so here the main scale reading of the screw gauge is zero given the circular scale reading it is 52 divisions it is given and one main scale division it is given then what is the diameter simple formula msr main scale reading plus csr circular scale reading into least count it is so simple a vernier caliper has 20 divisions on a vertical scale which coincide with the 19 on the main scale the least count of the instrument with respect to the vernier caliper we should know the least count or vernier constant is equal to 1 msd minus 1 vsd by using that concept we get the answer so these are the very important relevant concept regarding neat or je main entrance exams so please go through it you can get minimum one or two questions from this uh, areas if possible i am trying to give um, important uh, um, concepts with other chapters too so we can wait so stay healthy stay at home thank you